So let's open this up and see how it all works. Now, in the original video I had this duct tape right here, because when this side opens up when this switch is being pushed on by the hand, that's bad because the switch doesn't actually go. So, let me open this up. It looks uh, pretty complicated. It's actually not too bad. I'll post a wiring diagram uh, along with the video. You can see that in the description. Uh, that'll simplify it a lot. Now, pretty much for the, for the basic components of this thing, we have uh, there's the battery box, the switch that goes through to right there, a lot of wires attached to that, uh, this motor right here that's all covered up in duct tape that's attached to this arm, and then under that is this micro switch. So, the way it all works is, uh, uh, this switch, it's not like a regular on-off switch, it's actually on and reverse on, so that when the motor hand is going up, it hits it, switches the direction, goes back down, lands on this thing, and then turns off and stays off until uh, it, the, the switch is flipped again. Now, the battery pack, it's only got three batteries, could have fit a fourth one, but I didn't like the speed that, that the four batteries made it go, so I switched down to three. In order to still use the same battery pack, I had to connect it with a wire. Uh, I also put in this light switch. It was just kind of nice to have it off-on uh, ability for when I was working with it. Don't really need that anymore, but I don't really see a reason to take it out. Um, and as far as the box goes, you can't really buy a box that opens up in the middle like that. So what I did was uh, bought a box that where this whole top was one piece and it opened up like that. And then uh, I bought another smaller box, this guy right here, and took the hinges off of it and put them on the other side. Because uh, they didn't sell hinges at the store, that was kind of stupid. But And then I cut the lid, the saw right there, and then that's how that opens up now. Um, also, as far as the wiring goes... Uh, I like to use something like this. It's a, uh, it's, they're called jumper leads, and uh, pretty much it's just two alligator clips connected by a wire. So you can just hook that onto like the little prong on the bottom of a switch, and then onto the battery wire or anything like that. It makes it a little easier. Um, so if you have any other questions on like how this thing is built, uh, just leave a comment. I get those from email and. I'll probably respond to it pretty quickly. Of course, I'd also recommend to buy a bunch of, or at least buy a roll of electrical tape and duct tape when you're building something like this, because those are always really nice. Enjoy.